Live. This is 8 News Now. Good day. We were just grasping for information. At the same time, we were praying for his life. When we lose a good officer, we've lost a protector. Today is a, um, a day that we want to remember Chad for the rest of his career, for what, what he's done in our community. I prayed every day that I would never have to do that for one of my fellow officers. It's a horrific event, first of all, for, for us in law enforcement especially, but uh, for the community as a whole. Chad was just an awesome individual, a great guy. Our thoughts and our prayers are with that family. It's such a, such a tragedy. And the Las Vegas community coming together to remember the life of North Las Vegas Detective Chad Parquet. Flags will fly in half staff until sunset tonight in his honor. And here you can see the North Las Vegas City building lit up in blue in memory of Detective Parquet. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. The funeral for Detective Parquet taking place a little later this morning at Central Christian Church in Henderson. We have Michael Stevens who is live there where the final preparations are underway. Michael. Kirsten, Brian, good morning to you both. Uh, police motorcade will escort the fallen officer as well as his family to this church. It will be followed by ceremonial honors at Palm Mortuary uh, Cemetery a little bit later on this afternoon. Now, as you mentioned, Chad Parquet was killed earlier this month in a car crash while on duty. Since his death, there's been an outpouring of support, and you just heard it in that cold open from the community and the city that he served. Now, let's take a live picture from North Las Vegas. City Hall this morning where the lights have gone blue in his honor. You know, if there's still another stone to turn over, he's going to do it. He's that guy. That's his personality. That's his work ethic. And uh, he has a high moral standard. And uh, he, he had a passion for the job. Detective Parquet served on the force for about 10 years. Shortly after his death, hundreds gathered at a vigil to honor the detective, as well at a fundraiser to raise money for his family. Now, he does leave behind a wife and a young child. The uh, funeral ceremony does begin at noon today. Brian Kirsten. All right. Thank you very much, Michael. And a funeral procession for De uh, Detective Parquet will begin at 1030 this morning, causing issues along the roadways. Yep.